the wood chips were hot, red flames, and that thing. Whoosh, so it, it made it made that sound. A house fire in New Iberia and a connection to a homicide case that burned home was recently searched in connection with the death of Kitty Rito. The 51 year old woman was found dead last month, a few blocks away. She died of blunt force trauma and her death is being investigated as a homicide. Three's on the street. Victor Georges joins us from the scene of the fire with more on the connection. Victor. Neighbors say Kitty Rito lived in this house on Corin Street that was destroyed in the fire. The state's fire marshal office is investigating the cause. And the fire looked like the fire department couldn't keep it under control. Kept whoosh, there's a big old blade in, in everything there. And I say, Lord, have mercy. I say, I hope nobody's not in the house or nothing. John Thomas and Brenda Chagua couldn't believe what they saw just feet away from their home. And I say, Dad, I, I, I said, man, I said, that's a big old fire. The fire burned the home where Kitty Rito lived with her fiance, who owned the home. Years. They lived in that house for years. Cause we've been here 14 years, mm -hmm. and they've been together what six, seven six years. Six years, cause they no, all longer than that, about ten maybe. Huh? I think about ten years. No one was injured in the fire, but neighbors are well aware of the recent search in connection with Rito's death. What when I'm thinking that they're trying to, they got, girl, I'm thinking they're trying to get back at him. They must have thought. He was in the house and something to try to burn him alive and everything, but he would thank God he wasn't in the house. They're hoping there will be answers soon. We believe that whoever did this to her should be punished, should turn themselves in and come forward. And that would happen to that young man's home. That should have never happened. As the fire investigation continues,